What's wrong? In my head. Ah. <laughs> To our channel everyone. I'm Matt. And I'm Leah. And today, like always, we have a very cool video for yes. you. Yes. Today we are What are we doing? DIYing? What yes. are you doing? So, we are DIYing. So as you're all aware, we are going to the music festival Coachella. And one of the big things that that entails are really cool, really different, really out there outfits. Yes. Um, so Leah and I, without giving away too much of what we're wearing, because we are working on that and partly because we also don't know what we're wearing, <laughs> yeah. um, we have decided or we have um, certain pieces that we would like to put together with an outfit. Yeah. So I have purchased some jeans from TK Maxx and I have a vision that I would like to essentially remove the front panelling of the jeans, so just have the back. Um, that's something that I'm working on and we'll see how far I get. Um, and Leah has... I went to like a St. Vinny's thrift store and I found this really cool singlet and I have an idea to crop it but to knot it and fray it. So it's going to be interesting to see how they come out because like Matt said, this is potentially an outfit idea. Well, his is definitely an outfit idea. Yeah. And depending on how mine turned out, it potentially could be an outfit idea. So hers was six dollars. So yeah, fine. mine was. <laughs> like I kind of like it as it is. The nicer, like the nicer one thing. that I brought. I have in the car. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that today. It's cool. It's really. Cool. I think it's cool. It's very Barbie. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. If you've come to this video to either try and figure out how to DIY jeans or DIY a crop or something, you've come to the wrong video because we have no idea. Besides me watching a few YouTube tutorials, have you and, done any? Um, I did textiles. So that's a no <laughs> from either of us. Oh, like I looked on Pinterest this morning and like to get a couple of ideas of what I could do, but then we kind of just made up our own idea just here. So cool yeah Which, that's what fashion is it's yeah all up to you it's the interpretation yes so with my jeans i've gone for a 98 percent cotton jean just fyi and two percent elastine i decided to get something that was a little bit more structured and sturdy um that hopefully would hold its shape when i cut it um essentially what i want to do to these jeans is cut out here and all the way down um, but how I'm going to do it first, I've decided to leave a panel over the knee just to see the feel that I get for the jean and then take it from there. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's really good. And for mine, it's pretty much going to be a cropped version of this singlet. However, it's going to have a few ties coming down and then at the back, the ties are going to come higher. So they're going to start a bit higher. So the back is pretty much all just ties and frays. these panelling, this panelling here, because this is going to hold it together as you can see it will gape. I'm a bit concerned that if I was to cut them off it would just be like fluffy material, but like, yeah. I don't think that would look bad. I don't think it would look bad. I think if you had this one gapey, then definitely just do like a panel here, kind of thing. But I don't think a gapey look would look bad. <laughs> Okay, well that was a little bit of an intermission break why 
why we did all the nitty gritty that yeah. you don't want to see on camera because it took us a long time. It took us a long time, but these right. are the end results. Yeah. We'll insert some after oh, this week. Yeah. We'll insert some <laughs> clips here of us showing you our legs, our thighs, our back, and our crack. Yes. But the problem is you actually need to go to the same venues because it's not like you can go to the shop and find No, I really liked it because it was very Barbie-ish. And yeah, we kind of created something else. And it was weird because this was on a wing, whim because I actually was going to just crop it like this and have it down and open. But I think this is kind of cute. Add, something, like add something to it. And if you don't like it at the end of the day, you can always just cut them off. Yeah, just but chop I think, them off. I think it's cute. Yeah. As for me... <laughs> And my jeans, I bought mine, these were new from TK Maxx. They were $30, they're a Rusty is the brand. Rusty is the brand. Mm -hmm. So I just went and I opened it up and I think it looks cute. I um, probably will try and fray a little bit more. Um, but you can just fray it to what you want and what yeah. you like. But I wanted a full open panel, didn't end up doing that because the gaping is a little too real. But I think it works and for what I'm going to put it with, hopefully it'll be a complete look and not a complete fail. No, I don't think it'll be a favorite. I don't think it will be. Like, like I mean, worst case scenario, we've discussed this. As he's put on the jeans, we've, like, he's chopped a little bit more, frayed a little bit here. Kind of just working with it. And I think that's what's really good mm. about DIYing jeans. There's no right or wrong. No, it's kind of personal yeah. preference. And if he puts them on with what he's thinking about wearing them with and doesn't like it, he can always just chop them and make them into shorts. That's it. Bob's your uncle, friend is your aunt. Booty shorts. Yeah. Alright, but on that note guys, we are going to leave it here. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Hit the subscribe and the notification button because we will be posting some more um, videos of our trip to yes. America. But more specifically, um, if you found this video, probably because you're interested in Coachella. But we will be doing a full um, Coachella video as well of us there and um, our thoughts. Yes. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And the best way to do that is by hitting subscribe and the notification right. bell. We will see you next Monday. Bye. Bye.